Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Brooke and welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a book tag. The book tag that I'm going to be doing today is the Lana Del Rey Lyric book tag which was created by my friend over at Lattes and Mockingjays. Her original video and channel will be linked down below so you can check them out and hopefully do this tag if you want to. I was not tagged to do this by her or anyone else but she told me that she had made it in one of my past Friday 5 videos and I knew that I just had to do it. So we're just going to hop straight into it with question one. The lyrics for this one are, will you still love me when I'm no longer young and beautiful? Will you still love me when I have nothing left of my aching soul? Name a love based more on personality than looks. For this I chose Beth and Lincoln from Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. I will have my full spoiler free review of that book linked down below so you can check that out if you want to. I chose this book because Lincoln falls in love with Beth through her emails. He doesn't even know what she looks like for the longest time so he obviously cared more for her personality than for her looks. Question two. I put the radio on hold you tight in my mind. Isn't it strange that you're not here with me? Name a book where the main character is more affected by someone's absence than their presence. I picked Wiley from The Outliers by Kimberly McCrate. Wiley's friend, sort of. They recently had a big fight. Cassie goes missing, sending Wiley a text that she is in trouble and the entire novel revolves around the fact that Cassie is gone and Wiley has to find her and help her with whatever is going on. Wiley is much more affected by Cassie's absence than she ever was by her presence. Question three, I think I'll miss you forever, like the stars miss the sun in the morning skies. Name a book character that lost someone important or close to them. In Woman on the Edge of Time by Mark Piercy, our main character Connie loses her child to Child Protective Services and that totally changed the way that she acts and the new situations that she's put in and how she interacts with other people, children included. Can't say much more without giving away anything, but I'll leave a link to my spoiler free review of that book down in the description box as well. Question four. Now you're just another one of my problems because you got out of hand. We won't survive, we're sinking into the sand. A romance or friendship that shouldn't have been. For this, I'm picking Evie and Suzanne from The Girls by Emma Klein. Evie should have never become friends with Suzanne and co because then she would have not have been tied up in the murderous cult that the group became. If you don't know, The Girls is a Manson family inspired story about a cult that turns murderous and Evie gets caught up in it and if she had never got caught up in it or become friends with Suzanne well then she never would have been a part of that crazy world. So it would have been better for her if she had just never befriended them to begin with. I'll leave a link to my spoiler free review of that book in the description box below. I promise I didn't pick these books to just plug my reviews but that's just the way it happened. Question five. And there's no remedy for memory. Your face is like a melody. It won't leave my head. Your soul is hunting me and telling me that everything is fine but I wish I was dead. A tragic story based on tragic love. For this I picked We Were Liars by E. Lockhart because it certainly is a very tragic novel and its love basis while it includes romantic love love is based more on a familial love more than anything. I really can't say much else because I don't want to spoil this book for you. Question six. God knows I lived. God knows I died. God knows I loved. God knows I lied. God knows I begged. Begged, borrowed, and cried. God knows I lost. God gave me life. God knows I tried. A character who keeps going through tough circumstances. For this, I picked Mayor Barrow from the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. Throughout the series that I've read so far, Mayor is constantly getting the short end of stick. In short, her life sucks, but she keeps going on and tries to remain strong and keep it together through everything. So she's just overall a really strong character. Question seven. Oh, what can I do? Life is beautiful, but you don't have a clue. Sun and ocean blue, their magnificence, it doesn't make sense to you. A book with a sad or bland setting for the characters. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a boring place in itself. For this, I picked The Maze Runner by James Dashner. All of the characters in The Maze Runner live in a place surrounded by a dangerous killer, even, maze, and the characters were too pure and too good to have ever lived in such a superficial, stupid place. It was never good enough for them. And that's all I'm gonna say, because talking about The Maze Runner gets me heated because they have some of the best characters. I just, I love them all and they didn't deserve to be put where they were. Okay, and that was the last question. So I have just completed the Lana Del Rey Lyric book tag and like I said before, the original video and the creator's channel will be linked below so you can check them out. Yeah, that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, bye guys.